Okay, so for um, language arts today, we're going to review commas and pr continue practicing putting them in sentences, dates, addresses correctly. Okay, so at the top, we have two envelopes. We're going to do one together, and then I'm going to ask a volunteer to come up and do different parts of the second one. Okay, so in the center, we need to have what? What do we put in the center? Evangeline? Their name. Their name of who we are sending it, sending it to. Good. So if I am the sender, me, and I'm sending a letter to my mom, I could say her name at the top. Okay, and what's the second line? Nobody remembers except Evangeline. What comes after the name? Javaya, you remember? Her address. So we put the street next. And then what comes after that? Allie? What comes after that? We already have the street. We put the city and the state. So if she lives in Rockwall, Texas, I put Rockwall TX. And where would the comma go? Evangeline? After the Texas? Before Texas. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Do I need another comma though? Is that that's what I meant? Yeah. No. No more commas. So I'm just going to put the zip code, and that's it. Okay. Only one comma in an address, guys. Unless you're putting it in a sentence, then you need to separate each part. So I would put a comma after the street right here. I would put a comma after the state right here if it's in a sentence. Okay. Now, we have another address that goes up here. This is who we're sending it to, but up here we put what? Our name, right? In our address, okay? So I would put my name, my address. Wait, your address? Your address? Okay, no, it's not really my address. Okay, now where would the comma go here? Angeline? Before Texas. Before Texas, is that it? Yes. yes, so just one comma when we're doing addresses like this on an envelope, okay? So on the second one, who wants to come up and show us what that would look like? Angeline? Okay, good. So that's who she's sending it to. And then who wants to come do this part? What goes up there? <laughs> Evangeline's name. So I will put her name because she's the one sending it. After that, we put her street ad address. her city and state.
Okay? So, good. The most important thing that we are focusing on right now is the commas. Okay, now let's look back at our, our journals for the comma rule when it comes to introductory words and phrases. And if you're directly speaking to someone, okay? So right here, where it says, when you directly, when you are directly speaking to someone, set apart their name. So the example was, leave your shoes by the door, Hannah. So you put a comma before her name. If their name is at the beginning, like, mom, I need your help. You put a comma after mom. Okay? Bryson, sit still. So there was a comma after Bryson. Okay? Now, if there is an introductory word or phrase. So this one and this one is what we're focusing on for this section. Later, we will go to the pool to swim. So we put a comma after later. Unfortunately, it is closed, okay? Or, yes, we can go swimming today. No, we cannot swim today. It is cloudy outside, okay? So, introductory words need to have a comma after them, okay? Anytime you, it sounds like you're making a little pause when you read it, that's when you know you need a comma there, okay? So, number one. It says, well, yesterday was the most beautiful day. Who can tell me where the comma would go? Did it sound like I made a short pause when I read that sentence? Aaliyah? After well. After well. Good. So I would put a comma in between well and yesterday. Okay, this is your introductory word. Okay, number two. Who wants to come up and see if they can figure out where the comma goes? Tabea? Yes, I am going on the field trip. Is there an introductory word? What was the introductory word? Yes, I am going on the field trip. Is there an introductory word to start that sentence? Good. Is, does that look correct? Yes. Good. So when you have a word, yes, at the beginning, you usually have to set it apart with a comma. Okay, number three. Unfortunately, we lost the game. Aaliyah? Okay, good. Number four. Tomorrow will be a better day, Brindley. I already put one comma in there. Notice I put a comma here. Why did I put one there? Do we have to set apart names? Yes. yes. So when you're directly speaking to someone, you need to put a comma there. Okay? But it's still missing one. Angeline? Okay, good. Tomorrow is an introductory word, so we put a comma after it. Number five. Cora, did you enjoy that book? Do we see any mistakes in there? Where we need to add a comma? Does it look correct? Yes. yes, it's correct. So the comma here is because we're directly speaking to Cora. So we put Cora, comma, did you enjoy that book? Okay, number six. Case, please make sure you put your things away when you're done playing. Okay. Okay, Evangeline, you can come up.
Okay, good. That's all you needed to do is put a comma after case because you're directly speaking to him. Okay? So now does everybody understand <laughs> names, whether they're at the beginning or the end, we have to put a comma with it. Okay? Introductory words. So when you kind of hear yourself pause when you read that sentence, you need to put a comma after that word when you're pausing. Okay? The next section is letters. Number seven, dear Roger, I miss you, love, Julie, okay? It's a very short letter, but the main thing you need to know is a comma needs to go after Roger, okay? Then when we end it, we also need to put a comma after love or whatever the word is, okay? So love, Julie. Okay, dear mom, thanks for my gifts. Sincerely, Paris. Okay, so where would my commas go? To Van? After mom. After mom. Um, Aaliyah? After sincerely. After sincerely, good. Okay, number nine. Dear Santa, I want a dirt bike. Yours truly, Luke. Evangeline? Good. Okay, that's it for that section. Now, dates and just a few other examples that we needed to go over at the very last section. Monday, March 6, 2021. Javea. After Monday, after the 6th, good. Number 11, January 10th, 2013. Aaliyah? After January. Not after January. After the 10th. After the 10th, good. Number 12, she was a beautiful, caring grandmother. She was a beautiful, caring grandmother. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Javea? Very good. You need to separate two adjectives with a comma. If they don't put and there, you need to put a comma in between them. Okay, number 13. That story was hilarious, suspenseful, and unforgettable. Okay, what do you think? Before and, very good. I already put one here, so all we needed was this one right here. Okay, that's a, a series of things. We put commas in between them. Number 14, she held on to his cold, damp hand. Cold, damp hand. Uh, Evangeline? After cold, very good. They're not separated with the word and, cold and damp, so we have to put a comma in between, okay? All right, are there any questions on your commas? Where to put them in a letter? Um, putting somebody's name in a sentence? Introductory words or envelopes? Any questions on any of those? No, okay. So what you guys are going to do, you're all going to do um, an activity on Seesaw. And you may use your notebook with all these rules. If you're still not sure, you can look back at our examples, okay?